time to musk up. Wow. So today's video, I'm gonna be letting you know if the new 100ml bottles in the Art and Material line by Guerlain has been reformulated when they switch from the 75ml bottles. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because a couple of people have asked me on Instagram if they thought that if I thought that these fragrances were reformulated. And I started thinking, are they? And so, just so if you are familiar, these are the older style bottles here. These are the 75 ml, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 75 ml. And this is Tonka Imperial. Imperial, I don't even know why I said it like that. Gorgeous, sweet Tonka tobacco some greenness in here as well just absolutely gorgeous one of my favorites from this line although i do give this line a hard time now this is the older boxes that they came in and if you look right at the end of the ingredient list on all guerlains is a number that is the formula code now a lot of people like to sometimes do comparison videos by smelling two different batches of the same fragrance. And personally, I don't like doing it because it's really subjective. Even if you knew the formula was exactly the same, the fragrance will pro probably still smell different because of the age of the bottle and the degradation of those fragrance oils inside the bottle. And so I don't really think that's a good way of looking if a fragrance has been reformulated. There's two ways of doing it. And personally, I, this is obviously the two best ways to do it. Now, if the brand does not give you a formula code, then the best way to typically look is in the ingredient list. If you see a, an ingredient has been removed, then chances are that fragrance has been reformulated. Now, I would be careful when you look at an ingredient list and there's been a note added. Now, typically, sometimes that could mean that the fragrance has been reformulated, but sometimes not because the only listed ingredients on the back of the box are the ones that the EU deems to be allergens. And so if a fragrance oil, let's say uh, ingredient A was not deemed to be an allergen and then the EU changed it and said, okay, ingredient A is an allergen, you must start including it on the back of the box. And then that fragrance is never reformulated. It, they were just forced to tell you that that ingredient is in the fragrance. Now, another way you can typically look is by if the fragrance brand gives you a formula code. Now, fortunately for us, Guerlain does give us a formula code. All right, so let's go over my findings. I have my iPad here. So everything I'm looking at, I'm going to post up as we're going through this so we can go through it together. And I'm going to talk about the fragrances that have not been reformulated in the line. Now, if I'm not mistaken, and if I counted correctly, there was 11 fragrances that were in the 75 ml bottles that were moved into the 100 ml bottles originally from the art and material line. Now there was the masculine line that Guerlain had that came in the wooden frame bottles. I forgot the name of them, but they took two fragrances from there and moved it to the art and material line. I did not look into those. I specifically looked into the fragrances that were originally in the art and material line. And from what I counted, there was 11 of them. So those are the 11 I'm going to go through with you right now. Now, the first ones I'm going to go through are the ones that have not been reformulated yet. And so now the first one I am going to put up is Tanka Imperial and Rose Barbar. And the verdict on those is, as you can see, formula code is the same, not reformulated. So if you like those two and you've been looking into getting them, have no fear, the formula is still the same. Now, the 75 ml formulas that I looked on from the older presentations, I tried to keep in the 2019 range. So 2019, 2020, and 2021 early was when the 75 ml bottles were still made. They made the switch in around mid-2021. So I don't know. It's possible that in 2022 that they have been reformulated again. 
So I, I, you know, you never know. But like I said, if you're looking into these fragrances, always look at the ingredient list and the formula codes to see if it's changed or not. Okay, next we have that's not been reformulated. I'm going to post it up is Iris Terefi. That has not been reformulated. That's a newer release. And so I was hoping that wouldn't have been reformulated already. And it hasn't. So you're good with that one. Now, the next ones that have not been reformulated are Angelique Noir and Cruel Gardenia. Those formula codes have stayed the same. So fear not with those. So obviously, I've given you the ones that have not been reformulated, right? And so now we're going to go into the reformulated ones. Now, process of elimination, you can obviously guess which ones have been reformulated already. But regardless, let's go over it. So next up is Neroli Artrin Noir and Joyous Two Bros. Those have been reformulated. And not only I've noticed that the formula codes have changed, but the ingredient lists are substantially different. Or maybe not substantially different, but some of them are really different. But maybe one or two or three notes have been changed around. Next up, Bois de Arami and... Embrons de Lang, Embrons de Lang, <laughs> fuck that up. Anyways, <laughs> those have been reformulated. Uh, different formula codes, and I think the ingredient lists are different as well. So those have been reformulated. And Spiritus Double Vini and Queer Beluga has also been reformulated. Now, if you look, the Queer Beluga. Man, that has such a small ingredient list. And I don't know. I, that fragrance is okay. It's cool. And Spare to Double Vinny, everybody knows my gripe with that fragrance. All right. So as you can see, it looks like out of the 11, only five of them were not reformulated. The rest have been reformulated. What you want to say is that in 2021, there was something that went down in the perfume industry, and that was the EU banning a ingredient called Lilol. And that's caused many fragrance brands to reformulate and even discontinue fragrances, a lot, a lot of fragrances. Uh, Outre Fresh by uh, Hermes, that was discontinued and they replaced it with Eau Givre. Another uh, release that's kind of interesting that was reformulated, or reformulated, excuse me, discontinued after one year was Lana Wheat Alone Blue Electric. Now that fragrance got a lot of hype and the same year that it released was the same year it got discontinued and that was because of the Lilol ban. YSL also had to reformulate YSL Y EDT because of the Lilol ban. This substance, this substance, this ingredient really caused a ruckus and caused fragrance brands to uh, reformulate or discontinue fragrances. That is the reason why I think many of those art material fragrances from the Guerlain line have been reformulated. All right, so those were my findings for today. I hope this helped anybody that's looking to purchase any of these newer 100ml bottles. Take care. Bye. My God. What is that smell? Oh. That's the smell of desire, my lady.